All right, once again, folks, doing another test run deck uh, deck profile for you. This is Nightmare with Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Uh, trying out the new tripod, different lighting schemes when I'm at my house. Um, if you can't tell today, we're doing uh, raccoons or beasts, whatever one you want to call it. There are there, there's raccoons, there's beasts, there's beast warriors. Um, You'll see when I start the deck profile. Um, I kept the deck as is because it was the way my brother built it when we first built the deck together. Um, he's already sent me the deck list. I'm in the process of changing it to the new way he wanted me to set it up, but it's going to take me a little bit of time. So for right now, this is which one you're going to get. I actually enjoy playing this deck the way it is because it's actually just really fun. So... Let's get started. We have two baby raccoon Ponpoko and well three baby raccoon Ponpoko. And then three baby raccoon Tantan. When so basically it is is this. One brings out the other. So Tantan literally says when it's flipped. Special summon level 2 beast type monster from your deck, except itself. When, and Pompoko's effect is, when this card's normal summon, you can special summon a level 2 beast monster from your deck and face down defense, except itself. You cannot special summon monsters uh, during a turn activation, so except for beast monsters. So basically, you can either normal summon this to special that, or... Uh, flip summon this to special any other level 2 beast that's in the deck. There are a good portion of them, so. Um, Alright, so if you haven't seen, because I think the camera did catch it, I do run one Beast King Barbaro. He is actually the only actual legitimate tribute summon in this deck. And it's simply that board wipe effect when he's tribute summoned. Uh can't run an act and you can't really run too many beast decks without green baboon the uh defender of the forest if he's in the grave and a beast dies special pay a thousand special it's not worth return so even if he dies pay a thousand special um my brother does run some interesting little texts in here and I actually did, I do utilize it because you're running so many level twos. We run two junk warriors, uh, two junk synchrons. So, you already know what he's for. We're not going into it. So, you kind of know what's in the extra deck. Uh, we, have, we run two Kalantosis. If it's special summoned by an effect of a beast monster, pop a monster on the field. Uh, we run two Performer Pal Inflator Tapirs, discard them from the hand, no battle damage that, that, uh, that attack. That's the main reason why he's in the deck. He's a, he's a battle stop hand trap, basically, and he's a beast. So, uh, two favorite Soberels, uh, one who's a level two beast tuner, so... We, so he does set up for help set up the uh, the notorious beast and Barky on plays. So uh, two Velfon. If you normal summon him, discard a card, special a beast from the grave. So he goes great with uh, Kalantosa because Kalantosa's effect kicks off of him. Um, two wind up kittens. It's a level two. It's a level two beast, and target a monster. Its attack becomes zero. I mean, what else can you say about that? And then the funniest one of all of them, two Yoko tuners. <laughs> yeah, my brother was is, is very janky. It's hilarious. I actually do enjoy it. This card's normal summon. You can special summon one tuner from your hand. Uh, from your special summon one tuner from your hand or graveyard but it's effects are negated um, that's it for the monsters 
kind of like when I did the fluffles. There are no hand traps besides tapir. But tapir is basically a defensive hand trap. This deck is actually very, very defensive. Most people rem remember when the level 2 beast deck was around. There were different variants. And one of the biggest ones was the obedient school combo with um, Ojamas. We don't run Ojamas in this deck. I thought about doing the Ojama build, but too much time taken out of the day to try to build that deck, so I changed my mind. Um, so, on to the spells. Three, Air's Rock Sunrise. It's actually the reason why I don't, we don't actually run a Monster Reborn in this deck, because this is Monster Reborn for Beasts. The only catch is that they die at the end of the turn. That's why you use it and then link it away. I mean, end of story. Uh, two closed fours. Beast monsters on the field. Beast and beast warriors gain 100 attack for every beast in the graveyard. As long as this is on the field, my opponent can't play a field spell. If they destroy this until the end of their next turn, they can't play any field spells. Um, again, my, my brother likes to play janky old shit, but it's hilarious. Janky old shit. So we run two creature swaps. Self-explanatory. I select a monster on my side. You select a monster on, on yours. We switch control. So more than likely you're catching one of these little these little raccoons. I'm probably taking something big of yours unless you 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 link the board with something that can stop the effect. And then at that point, I'm screwed. Uh, two MSTs. I do have a third one. I just don't have any sleeves. I don't have any extras to these sleeves. I haven't had time to change these uh, this sleeves into a sleeve. This in another deck. Into another set of sleeves. I will later. So the third MST or three twin or two or three twin, twin twisters is probably going in this deck. Three obedience school. You can't really run a level a primary level one or two beast deck without obedience school. And then it sets up for easy link and or uh, link synchro or uh, XC plays. So. Uh, that's it for the spells and you're gonna see with the traps and there are a lot of them because you notice that we've gone through more than half the deck and there actually is about 10 or 12 traps in this deck I believe so uh, one bottom list I know we can run three I know I can upgrade to rarity I chose not to that's actually the one he ran in the deck when he first built it so I left it on breakthrough skill. Do I need to explain what breakthrough skill does? No? Good. One compulse. Again, I could upgrade rarity. Just choose not to. It looks real clean though for a common. Just saying. One dust tornado. Because you can never have too much spell and trap destruction. Two Fingers Chain, again, clean for a common. I haven't changed which one he used when he first when he first built it. Uh, one, one Mirror Force. We all know what Mirror Force does. One Solemn Warning. I'm not explaining why we don't run Judgment or Strikes. Again, I kept this to what he had it when he first built it. More defense, two threatening roars. Self-explanatory. Your opponent, no attack. One torrential. And I know somebody's going to say, why are you running the platinum rare? As my partner Twisted would say, because it stacks. And the last card, last two cards in the in the main deck. 
two other people. Because again, we don't like taking damage if we work. So, that is it for the main. On to the extra deck. So, if you didn't see it when I first had it sitting out, we're going to run two Mrs. Radiant. 90 99% of the monsters in this main deck are Earth. Need I say more? I'm sorry, Yuja. Because we like downward pointing arrows. And one underclock taker. That's it for the Link Monsters. Why? Because we have a lot of synchros to get to at the end of this. But the only HC monster that we run in this entire deck. Three copies of number 64. Sent to you. Takes two level two piece monsters to make them. Detach one. Special a token equal to the highest attack monster on the field. Okay, so nine times out of ten you won't have the strongest monster on the field. If you have close horse on the field, that token now comes out to equal to what that monster what there's a monster on your opponent's side of the field was when it first came out. And then you get the great the added attack boost from the graveyard. This comes in handy with something that's in this extra deck as well. Alright, so no like I said, that's all the XEs. Everything else in this extra deck is synchro. He made it primarily synchro. I took out some of the XEs because Hell, to be honest with you, we don't really need them nowadays. Because everybody likes, everybody remembers him, everybody loves him. One catastrophe. And, like I said before, you already knew he was in here. Two Junk Warriors. So, let's just do a little quick recap. Say that token, that level 2 beast token is still on the field. Say he's somewhere around the lines of like 4,000 attack. For some odd reason, he's sitting at that high. Junk Warrior now comes, is now, hits the field with 6,300 attack. Sounds good? Yeah. I thought so. Barkeon. Because Barkeon does what Barkeon does because it's Barkeon. Can't run Barkeon without a beast. We all know what beast does. Beast does beast things because it's beast, damn it. Uh, and one Fable Unicorn. So, that is actually it for the deck. Uh, that actually goes right there. The main reason why Leo's in the deck is... You can't actually target him, so, I mean, Floodgates, Kaijus, and that's really about it. But if he's on field, unless it's my main phase two, you're not targeting him with any. Sorry. And then, he's also a beast, so Close Forest does, does work with him. Now just think, say you have, oh, I don't know, 13, 14 beast in grave. You have one of him on the field and one of him on the field. Detach. It comes out whatever his attack is and then gets the boost from Close Forest. Because not only did you just send another beast to the grave, but it takes his whatever his attack was with Close Forest, then adds Close Forest again. A Close Forest again plus the 100 from the other beast that you just sent to the grave. And, you know, why not? You knew there were tokens in there. I ran some down here. You knew there were tokens. Enough said. But, yep, again, that's the deck. It's really fun to play. It does brick from time to time, but I haven't really met a deck that doesn't brick, so... 
at least once in its life. Um, this deck can be stopped by, you know, hand traps primarily. But if you let it go, I'm just going to set up a field that you're not going to be able to do shit with. Unless you kaiju me. Because two sand values means no, no attacking me. Him on the field. Uh, no try gate. Try can't, can't try can't try gate can't do anything to him. He sits there and looks at try gate and goes, "Okay, you gonna banish something else? Have fun with that. Cool. Um, beast and Barky on the field means no spells or traps. Nine times out of ten, you're probably just gonna get beast on the field anyways." You know, unicorns in the deck simply because if my opponent has the same amount of cards in hand, no effects. Sorry. We don't like you playing Yu-Gi-Oh around here. That's basically what it says. If he's on the field and you have the same amount of cards in my in hand as I do, you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You're, you're playing Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Run over me. That's basically what we say. But, again, this was Nightmare. Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Uh, be on the lookout. I got another deck profile coming up later on. Uh, like I said in the previous video, um, we have a few things going up later this week and next week. Um, I am going to space out some of the stuff because if I just bombard everything this week, then we have no content. Of course. That's kind of the... It's kind of how it goes with everybody, though. But uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as my boy Alex would say when I'm borrowing at West Orange Comics and Games, hit the bell three times. Because, yeah, three times. We're going to keep hitting y'all in the head with this. Y'all going to know. Hit the bell. This is Nightmare Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Have a great day.